This is Vijay Vardarajan. Today I'm going to do a very special dish. I mean, you need to get this particular vegetable and then you can do it. This is the green tomato, the tomato that is still not ripe. I plucked it from my garden. So I wanted to do this and show you. For this, because it's tangy enough, we don't add tamarind. We may not add. If it's not tangy enough for you, you can add a little bit. So this is a special dish, which is a main course. You know, the first main course of any meal in our community. You mix the rice with cooked dal and then add a dollop of ghee. Mix it up and then mix this up and then have a hearty meal. Okay, so let's get started. I'll tell you exactly how this is done. I'm going to first season. Let me first finish seasoning it. I think it's getting hot. So you just have to feel the hot steam on the palm of your hand and you know the oil is hot enough. And then you add this. I like to add just mustard most of the times. Sometimes we season it with broken urad dal or, you know, um, de-skinned black rum, which we generally use in the South Indian because they season that with mustard. But I just like to add mustard. I don't know why. I just like the plain mustard. This has been seasoned. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add this. to this, okay, I will just take a little curry leaves, throw it there, add some water, of course, some salt, I want it to dissolve before I add this vegetable. If it's really tangy, you don't have to add the tamarind, otherwise you can add a little tamarind sauce. Because, no, this is, a, this is a tangy, spicy, green tomato sauce. Okay, thank you. Here. Here you go. I'm going to wait for this to cook well. We'll let it go for two or three whistles because this takes a little extra time to cook. You want it to cook to softness but remain whole, okay? You, the skin comes out on its own but then the vegetable remains whole. And uh, I'm going to close this. Wait. Let's wait for the whistle. And in the meantime, I'll tell you what are, the, what are the ingredients that go to make a pitli powder. I have already shown it in another video and I'm going to be telling you how to make it in the link below for this recipe. So what you need to do is take dried red chilies, coconut, coriander seeds, Bengal gram and hing. We need to fry each one separately on a low flame with a little bit of oil till it's a little golden brown the dried red chilies is crispy and bright red and then you powder everything and keep it. You need to powder it, not blend, because I have the powder with me, okay? Some houses, they use it then and there, so they blend it into a paste and use it. So every time they make a pitle dish, a dish with pitle powder, they make a paste of the pitle powder and they use it. We will wait for another two more whistles and then we'll switch it off. Sometimes even one whistle could do for it, so we can actually switch it off. I don't want it to overcook, okay? Yeah, this is actually done. I can see this is soft. Yeah, this is cooked. I want it to remain whole. Now, if you notice, the skin has come out for most of it. So this is the way I want it. I can see it and remain whole, but still soft and cooked. At this stage, I'm going to just, I'll keep it here and uh, I'll add this. And uh, what I've done is, this needs cooked tuar dal. So 
I've mixed up the tuar dal and uh, pitli powder and everything together. And that is what I'm going to add to this. So I don't think this needs tamarind. So I'm not going to add that. This is, I think this is all mixed. Let me use my hand for the finer aspects of this community cooking. You need to use your fingers. You got to clean the dish. Okay. So, here you go. You see, this dish is done. This is the pitli powder that I made out of all those ingredients. So, it's pretty angry in color because the chilies were fried to a bright crispy red and uh, use a little extra chilies if it's not spicy because it gives it adds to the color even if it doesn't add to the flavor so I'll use some more curry leaves I love using my curry leaves and uh, just look at this fantastic dish who wouldn't like to taste this? It has a lovely aroma. You have to be here to smell it. This is for a main course meal. So this is Pacha Takali Pitle. That is green tomato tangy sauce. So this is done already. Like and share and uh, view all my videos. That would be a huge motivation for me to continue with more and more recipes that I would love to share with each one of you. Share it with your friends, with your family. Let them all see what this cuisine is all about. It's very, very special, not only to me, but to all those people out there who want to have a very healthy life. Eat healthy food, eat tasty food. Grow in your back, backyard if you can. You don't have place, grow it in green bags, grow it in your terrace, grow it in pots, wherever you can but just start growing your own vegetables. That would be a huge inspiration and you'll start loving to cook your own meals. So until we meet again the next time, this is Vijay Vardarajan signing off. Bye to all of you. Mm -hmm.